Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, February 7th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Can you believe it? Valentine's Day is a week away. And let me tell you, coming up on today's show, we have some great gift ideas from chocolates to cockroaches. Oh yeah, you heard me right. Plus, we continue to celebrate Black History Month with Urban Souls Dance Company. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. Now you may have noticed I was off yesterday because it was a very special weekend for my family. My baby girl May was baptized. Of course, I have to share some photos. So without further ado, she was actually baptized at St. John Vianney Catholic Church. And let me tell you, this was such a special day. Right there you see Father Troy. Now Father Troy is the same priest who married my husband Jeff and I. So it was really special. There he is again. I was so emotional. There are my beautiful parents with May, the baptism girl center stage, and my lovely in-laws as well. So it was just a really really special day for our family and for my husband and I. Now I have to talk about her gown because you know I'm all about the fashion. Here's a close up with her bonnet, her little jacket, her gown. This gown is 90 years old, you all. It is a family heirloom baptismal gown and there are all the marguerites before her who have worn this gown. So it was really emotional. There I am with my mom. We both have worn this gown. My mom's her godmother. And to stand there, there she is wearing this. And that's her namesake, Marguerite Louise. So I get emotional with it, but to put that gown on her, it was so special and to know of the women who wore this before her. So it was a gorgeous day. It was a magical day. And thank you for always allowing me to share my special family moments with all of you because you guys are family as well. And let me tell you, I could not have asked for a more gorgeous day filled with sunshine, just like my friend Ido promised. So Ido, thank you very much for that one. Oh yeah, that was all me. <laughs> it was you. I was like, <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Ido. Sunshine, one less thing to worry about is you're hurting the whole family, you know? Oh, for sure. <laughs> and I do want to ask you some baptism tips because I'm getting my kids yeah. baptized next month. So I, I need to know exactly what you did, and I do want to borrow. <laughs> that, that gown is beautiful. Thank you. Yes, I can't believe everyone in my family has kept things so nice. I'm so thankful mm -hmm. for my mom because she keeps things so beautiful. And then she gave, are you ready for this? I'm sentimental like you. My prayer book, my very first prayer book, she gave it to May, and it was back from when I was a little girl. So 40 years, I'll be 40 in April. So it was just a really magical day and to pass this family heirloom on to her. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yes, and I I'll be here to help you for sure. Okay, good, because I don't know what to do. <laughs> I got you, girl, I got you. And it's a little stressful, so that's why I had a day off, because I was exhausted. You yeah, know what it's like sure. being a Yeah, mom. I'm taking a whole week. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but I have to say, I'm not a fan of this weather today. My hair is like, mm -mm, not yeah. having it. Yeah, especially when we're going to get a few sprinkles here and yes. there, and so you'll get a little frizzies here and there yes. as well. Let's go in and take a look at the Wells Fargo cam because you'll see here as we go through, there are a few little raindrops that pop up on the lens as we're starting to see a few scattered rain showers. There they are, come through the area. So for noontime, we're gonna see a few showers. It's just gonna be mostly cloudy. Good news is temperatures are going to be in the 70s, going to about 75 by 2 p.m. Currently right now, Already 70 degrees in Sugarland, 71 in Angleton, 70 in Wharton. Everyone else, we're seeing a splatter of 60s, but it's going to be a warm one. It's also going to be moist because check this out. Satellite and radar, we have a few showers racing through the area. As we zoom in here into Houston, there's a few showers already starting to develop, especially in the south loop right there on a 90. As we head into the rest of this afternoon, a couple of showers are going to be racing through the area as a cold front starts to move in by tomorrow morning. So your morning commute tomorrow is going to be be a little bit on the dicey side, but overall by tomorrow 6 p.m. It's going to be clearing out, Maggie. So I hope you have that stroller greased and ready to go, Mama. <laughs> I do. And I, I got to get out of this dress, though, first, because you know when it's like sticky out, you're like, whoo, leather, leather. Hey, you know hey, what? Don't worry, it's vegan. Don't come after me. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say at least you remembered to put on your deodorant, unlike yours well, truly. Oh, I got some in my bag. Well, <laughs> you know what? I always got gotcha, you, and I even have you when it comes to taxes. So here's more from our colleague, Jim. It is Tax Tip Tuesday, and we're chatting today with Scott Curley with Finish Line Tax Solutions. Again, it's always nice to chat with you. How are you doing this morning? I have lots of questions for you. 
Okay. Okay, so can the IRS really seize your assets? I was reading about this, or do they have to get a court order? Not that I'm, I'm not asking for a friend, I'm just asking, because it's we need advice. Okay, so here, tell your friend whom you're not asking for <laughs> <laughs> that, um, <laughs> that uh, the IRS is the only entity in the entire country that can season our assets and garnish our wages without a court order. So, you know, and if you really think about that, there, there are no other entities in the entire country that can bypass that, that court system. You always have to go to the courts, get a court order, garner the judge stamps it, and then uh, eventually a garnishment could occur. IRS doesn't have to do that. They, they bypass that system. And that is something that we all need to be very aware of because of what it does for the IRS, it makes it more streamlined and um, easier for them to garnish our wages and uh, seize our assets. The best way to deal with that is to not put yourself in that situation in the first place. However, if it does happen, then once again, as I say on every single segment, deal with an IRS problem proactively. Never wait for them to come to you. If you know you have a problem, deal with it aggressively and directly. That way it can be resolved on your terms. If you need to call us, call us. That's what we do all day, every day. And I just, I have one more quick question for you. So we're about to be sure. in the thick of tax season, and I'm wondering, a lot of this can be really scary. How do you ease the minds of your clients when they're going through this? Well, the IRS has to be, they hold them, they have to be held accountable, and they are held accountable by certain rules. So if someone understands and knows that they have a tax problem, if they address it aggressively, and in most cases, they probably should call a company like us or someone or a company that's reputable, then there are certain rules that the IRS has to follow and they cannot create a financial hardship, believe it or not, in collecting a tax debt, but they are the entity that determines what financial hardship is. So all that to say that the way to ease anyone's mind is to understand that most tax matters are resolvable if you deal with them proactively and aggressively. Such good advice and so important. Such good information to have. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. And thank you for having me. Well, roses are red, violets are blue. We've got some chocolates and hissing cockroaches for you. Say what? I guess you'll have to find out after the break. When couples cause chaos, <laughs> Judge Mathis keeps the peace. Can you divorce us right now? <laughs> Judge Mathis, next on CW 39 Houston. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to bring you my Giza Dream bed sheets for the best offer ever. We're all experiencing unprecedented rising prices, but I was able to secure a limited amount of Giza cotton for a great price, and I'm going to pass those savings directly on to you. Get my Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98 with your promo code. They're the most luxurious sheets ever, made with the world's finest cotton, grown only in a region between the Sahara Desert, Mediterranean Sea, and the Nile River, where the weather conditions are perfect for growing cotton. My sheets are ultra soft and breathable, but extremely durable. I guarantee they'll be the most comfortable sheets you'll ever own. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to save 50% on my Giza Dream bed sheets. That's as low as $29.98. Quantities are extremely limited at these amazing prices, so please order now. Holy moly. The pipes in this house are filled with pinholes. The reason? Corrosion. The result? A leaky mess everywhere. So let's give it a permanent fix. Hi, I'm Pete from Repipe Specialists. If you have leaky pipes or low water pressure, don't let things get worse. Call Repipe Specialists today. We'll expertly and seamlessly repipe your home in just one to two days. Call now to save 20% and take advantage of our special financing and free in-home estimate. Call Repipe Specialists today. Houston Trade Training can teach you skills to become a professional AC tech in as little as five weeks with our professional hands-on training curriculum. Don't waste your precious time and money on programs that never move beyond a book or a computer screen. Come to HTT and get real training for a real job, as well as a universal EPA certification. Houston Trade Training is the home of the $14.99 five-week HVAC class. So what are you waiting for? Start off the new year with a new career. Sometimes you just need a little more space in your home. You can't always get it, but with the right furniture, you can get more out of the space you do have. It's easy at Rooms to Go. Fashionable, functional furniture that helps you do more for less. So turn any room into a guest room. Turn a small space into something more. 
Turn a spare room into your favorite room and transform your home into exactly what you need. I'm Julianne Huff, and this is what's possible at Rooms To Go. Well, Valentine's Day, it's a week away, and nothing says I love you like chocolates. But let's be real, I'm not basic. She's not basic. <laughs> These are no basic chocolates. I am joined by my good friend, Annie Rupani, owner of Cacao and Card Mom. It is so great to Thank see you, you my friend. Me. I feel like this is our tradition. We've been doing this for so long. Almost nine years. I know. Congrats on your business. Thanks. For everyone at home that doesn't know, tell us a little bit about it. So Cacao and Card Mom, in, with Cacao and Card Mom, we do a lot of uh, interesting chocolate profiles. Yes. Um, not only are our chocolates aesthetically beautiful, we color them, we paint them. We also create these incredible flavor profiles like cardamom rose, strawberry Szechuan, cashew praline. Um, for Valentine's this year, we actually decided to create like a meant to be collection I of chocolates this. flavors that we thought were meant to be like PB and J. I love, oh, I just got that. Yeah, it is meant to be. Here, I just want to hold one of these up. Can, can we see? This is like the colors of them. How long does it take you to do each? It's chocolate? about a three day process. So we start off by coloring the molds, then we create a shell. So if you bite into one of the chocolates, there's going to be a thin shell on the exterior. And then on the inside, we have these beautiful ganaches. We have ganaches, we have pralines, we have pet de fuis, which is a fancy word for fruit jellies. Um, so we create all these different fillings for our chocolates so that you have a different experience every time you bite into a new chocolate. And you really do, it takes you somewhere else. So let's say you can't afford to take your loved one to somewhere in Europe or in Asia, you take a bite and it instantly takes you somewhere else. I absolutely love them. How do you do it? Because you're a mom. You're a wife. Yes. You've got all of this, and your business just keeps growing. Yes, you know, it is definitely tough uh, being a mom, a working mom, um, but she motivates me. I mean, this is, it's incredible to see the business thrive while still being a mother. Um, and it's incredible to have the support that we do from Houston and from all of our. Um, chocolate lovers nationwide because now we've really built our e-commerce so that we're almost shipping more than we're doing in Houston. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. So tell everybody how can we get some. So you can order some from our website cacaoandcardamom.com and you're welcome to come in store as well. We're open all weekend. Valentine's is on Tuesday. We're ready for you. I am ready and let me tell you this is one gift that everyone will be raving about. Your Valentine will love it for sure. What is your favorite flavor? Ooh, for Valentine's Day we have a popcorn and butter which is just mind blowing. That popcorn is gonna be the, and yeah, butter? It's going to be the new salted caramel. Salted caramel has nothing on butter and popcorn. <laughs> I told you they were not basic. I told you they were yeah. not basic at all. And then what's next for you all? So we um, will have our next collection for Easter, um, but we need to get through Valentine's first yes. and get you all the chocolate that you need um, for all the love. And where's the shop located for everybody to go? We are located right across from the Galleria in area inside of uh, the shopping center with Grand Lux, Nordstrom Racks. Yeah. Um, at Post Oak and Westheimer. All right, and look at, they come in this beautiful box as well. So definitely want to check it out. Now, I told you, there's none here. D have you ever dipped a cockroach in chocolate? <gasps> No, but maybe, <laughs> maybe chocolate covered crickets. Yeah, but... that is definitely a thing. Well, um, from chocolates to cockroaches. Yeah, <gasps> I know. Oh my, I'm going to do a Vanna now. Yes, <laughs> if Vanna can do it, I can do it, right? I mean, that girly, she still can walk and do the puzzle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's always a dream of mine. But no, from, oh, I forgot what I was about to talk about in there right there. From chocolates to cockroaches. Roses are red, violets are blue. Want a hissy? They, that thing is hissing. Want a hissing cockroach named after you? Well, guess what? You can do just that at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I'm joined by my friend, Lauren. Thanks so much for waking no up with problem. us. Okay, well, um, <laughs> why is it hissing at me? It's just Girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I have names for all of them. All of them, because they're all my exes, pretty much. So, <laughs> you want me Fair to Fair enough. Say, yeah. <laughs> Rob, I see you, boo. No, I'm just kidding. I won't name all my exes. We don't have time for that. But no, so tell us a little bit about this. Okay, so these are Madagascar hissing cockroaches, and we are running a promotion at the museum right now where you can name a cockroach. After next, we prefer... You know, a loved one. Cockroaches are great. It's a nice thing to name your loved one after. 
But if you choose an X, that's fine. Um, all of the proceeds go to our education programs at the museum. It's $10, and you can name a cockroach. You get a certificate and a really cute pen. And you guys, I've actually been there. They act, you have a cockroach motel. We have a cockroach I mean, motel. So when they're named, we take them and we place them in a motel where they all kind of hang out together. It's in our museum store, so you can come visit them if do, you want. Do they get romantic with each other? Like, what? Do, how does that work with I cockroaches? Mean, yeah, absolutely. They really? can, yeah. Oh, now, these are big daddies. Go big or go home. <laughs> So how, how big is this big boy? Well, oh, this geez. is probably one of the bigger ones that I brought. Oh, And this isn't as big as they can get, but this is one of the ones I have. This is actually a female. How can you tell the difference? So the females don't really have horns like the males do. Let's see if I got a male in here to Why show. Why are they hissing? That's so what it, I wanted to like, they, <laughs> oh my, she lifted up the rock and there were so <laughs> many <laughs> So they hiss as a defense. So that reaction that you're getting, wild animals would get that too because it sounds like a snake. Oh shoot. So they all live in a big group together and when some animal comes rummaging around trying to find something uh -huh. to eat, they make those hissing noises. Girl, you handle this like a boss. Wait, are you sure? Yes, absolutely. I come it's gonna stay on my hands. in peace. Wait, what? It's, it'll stay on my it, hand. It won't jump. It won't jump. You should touch it though. <gasps> it feels cool. It feels like a turtle shell. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you that was it. great. I did, did it, yay, I did good. it. Can I feel my palms? They're so <laughs> sweaty, they are so sweaty. May, you never want to pet cockroach at all. But why is this so important to make sure that we support you and what all you guys do at the museum? So we do so much science education programming at the museum, which is important. And also learning things about cockroaches is important. Import, or Cockroaches are super important for our environment. Yeah. There are thousands of types of cockroaches, millions on the planet, probably billions, and they clean up all that nasty stuff that we don't want to eat. No, that is very true. That yeah. is very true. We so, do love you. So they you. should be appreciated. We love you hissing and all. So is that one the colored, the horn, is that a guy? Uh, this one down here is with a little bit bigger horns. So has somebody really named it after an X and sent it to them? I think that's Oh yeah, I, I absolutely love this. <laughs> I would say we're probably half and half. Really? Yeah, half after a loved one and then probably half the people after an ex. Would you name it after an ex? Oh, no, I named it after my husband, so. Oh, that's so wrong. What's your husband's name? <laughs> James. He James. Uh, didn't appreciate it that much, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeff, don't name one after me. I'd be a little bit offended, but I think that's that's something yeah. you're passionate about. So where can people go to name a cockroach? So just head to our website. It's okay. hms.org, and you could go into our store, and you'll find all of the information there. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Rob, they're, I knew, they're very Rob, I knew it was you hissing at me. <laughs> it wasn't a good breakup, for sure. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. And after the break, we continue to celebrate Black History Month. I'm so excited. We have a special performance. Stay tuned for that. All right, <laughs> it's okay, guys. I know, morning. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> The State of the Union. What's the report card at the midpoint of the Biden presidency? News Nation has the answers you need from the best political team anywhere. Special live coverage from Washington, D.C. starts tonight, 7, 6 central, only on News Nation. Get ready to add a little pop to your home with my Cindy Crawford Colors Collection at Rooms to Go. New eye-catching colors across an incredible selection that make it easy to find your style. Make it bold, make it fun, make it yours. With beautiful pieces you can design an entire room around. So get creative with color and do it all at an affordable price. Come see what's new for my Cindy Crawford Colors Collection at Rooms to Go. Whether you're signing up for Medicare for the first time or looking for a plan that provides the coverage, benefits, and savings you really need, I've got exciting news for you. Kelsey Care Advantage is the local plan that gives you more. While original Medicare covers hospital and medical insurance, Kelsey Care Advantage covers prescription drugs, comprehensive dental, vision and hearing, over-the-counter allowances, worldwide emergency care, and much more all at no additional cost. Speaking of costs, how about zero cost for monthly premiums, primary care copays, and drug deductibles? Best of all, you can see any doctor even out of our network. No wonder we're ranked Texas best Medicare Advantage plan. Get more without paying more. Enroll in Kelsey Care Advantage today. Call 713-442-7924. That's 713-442-7924. The Ruin.
and Ryan Show Month of Games is back on 104.1 KRBE and can be your ticket to Taylor Swift. Your favorite games every morning like the Rapid Fire Quiz and Song Pop. Are you ready for it? All of this gets you into the running for the VIP experience for the year's biggest concert. Win a pair of tickets to see Taylor Swift, a limo ride to the show, and a weekend stay at the Omni. It's me. Swift thinking will get you Swift tickets with the Rule and Ryan Show and the Month of Games on 104.1 KRVE. Chris Cunahan for Leaf Filter, the permanent gutter solution that protects your home in so many ways. It takes more than one Chris to explain it. But together, I think we've got this job covered. Like Leaf Filter has your gutters covered. Protecting you from getting up on this thing to clean out your gutters ever again. You know how else Leaf Filter protects your home? With our lifetime transferable no clogs warranty. We'd be glad to come out for a free, no hassle inspection. Folks in the greater Houston area, call 346-501-4701 or visit noclogs.com. Before we get to our live performance, here is a look at today's sponsored content. continue to celebrate Black History Month and today I'm so excited because we are joined by Urban Souls Dance Company and Artistic Director Harrison Guy. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about the dance company. Sure. So Urban Souls Dance Company is a professional black modern dance company um, born and bred here in Houston. Almost 20 years old. We're 19 years old. And so we like to tell African American stories and um, give the African American dancers in Houston a place to dance. And you are doing a really special performance on Saturday. Saturday. Tell me about that. Yeah, so on Saturday we have our, every year we do a black history performance, of course, um, because of the nature of the company. But this year we're doing something special. We invited several other black companies from Houston to dance with us. So people that come out are going to get to see six different dance companies in one night. That's amazing. <laughs> you can't see that everywhere. No. So there are, there are friends in, the, in art and in dance, so we thought, why not? Why not bring everyone together so that everyone's audience can get to see uh, all the other companies? And a lot is going on yes. in our world right now and in the United States in Black History Month. How do the arts bring us together? I think the arts is the perfect place to talk about these differences, right? Because it allows you to see a performance, think about the content, and then address that content on your own terms. It's mm. not, you're not forced to argue about it. You can really, really let it settle in and address it at your own time. And so I think that arts is the perfect place for us to think through some of these differences. I also think it's the perfect place for people to feel seen and heard. And so mm. performances like this are important so that um, African American people can see their history, see their, see their legacies, and feel proud. I love that and there is so much pride. I'm so excited to have the dancers perform behind us. Where can we go to get tickets and support sure. you all? So the performance is going to be at Match in Midtown on Main Street and it's on the Match's website. So it's MatchHouston.org but it shares an H so it's Match Austin. So okay. Match Houston but it shares an H.org. And of course we'll have all of this on our website CW39.com. Tell us a little bit about the dancers we're about to see. Yeah so the dancers we're about to see are Lauren Burke and Dwayne Cook and they've been dancing with me for a very long time and I'm super excited to show you just a snippet of the types of dances we'll be doing this Saturday. Just a little tease just right little my tease. friend? Okay. Alright well without further ado if they can take it away for us yeah, we'll absolutely. step to the side for them.
absolutely stunning. Bravo to both of you. Bravo. The lines. Yes. They are absolutely beautiful dancers. Thank you so much. Now, did you do the choreography for this as so well? So we collaborate. So we're at a point where we all collaborate on movement together, which I love. I love the collaborative process. The dancers have a lot to say. Um, you know, back in the day, it used to be the choreographer making every single decision, every single move. But I think where the world is, equity is like really important, right? Equity of voice. And so now, cho choreographic spaces are much more collaborative. So I love asking the dancers, what do you want to say about this piece? Right. Yeah. And what were you hoping to convey with that piece? So this piece is actually a snippet of a piece called Black Body in white spaces mm -hmm. and that piece really talks about what it means to be in a space that you feel is predominantly white, um, what your experience is uh, in that. And so the dancers were able to bring all their individual feelings about what that means for them. Sometimes being the only black person in a space and what that feels like. Sometimes you feel incredibly inspired. Sometimes you feel, you know, overpowered. Um, and so what does that experience feel like? So this is a little bit of the movement that's for that piece. Well, this was absolutely beautiful. Thank you for sharing your art with us. Thank yeah. you, both of the dancers <laughs> as well. We're going to have all of the information on our website. You definitely want to support Urban Souls Dance Company. And what can I say? With that, that is a wrap on today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. What a wonderful show. Bye for now. Have a terrific Tuesday, everybody. Thank you again. Thank you.